Okay guys, today it's Friday and you guys are going to do square roots if you've finished your test. So let's look at a couple examples. A square root of a number is basically just the same number being multiplied by itself. So an example would be if I had the square root of 36, I need to think what times itself is 36. So the final answer would just be 6 and that is because 6 times 6 is 36. But you can also think about this the opposite way. You can also have a negative answer because if I do negative 6 times negative 6, I would still get 36. So you got to be aware of that. Here's four examples we're going to look at, and each one is written a little bit differently, so you might see it on your homework. The first one says I need to find the square root of 100. So you need to decide what times what is 100, and that would be 10. Because there's not any positive or negative signs any or negative signs anywhere else in the question, I would just go with 10 as my final answer. When you look at question 2, it says I want the square root of 144, but then there's a negative sign on the end. So the first thing you need to do is just decide what times what is 144. So 12 times 12 is 144. So my answer would be 12. But because there's a negative sign on the outside of my square root symbol, this means your answer must be negative. So I'm going to put a negative sign right in front of it. So the next question says that you want to find the square root of 289. So I'm going to have to decide what times what is 189. And once you think about this for a while, it is going to be 17 times 17. So my answer is 17, but when you look at the front of the problem, it says I want it to be positive or negative. I need both possible answers. So this is the time when you would put positive 17 and negative 17. Both of these are actually the correct answer because they give me 289. If you look at the last example, it says I want the square root of negative 25. Well, if you think back to the rule, it's one number times itself to get the quantity you want under the square root symbol. Well, to make a question have a negative answer, you can only have one negative in the problem. So if I try to do negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. If I try to do po positive 5 times positive 5, that's positive 25. This one is not possible. I can't have a negative symbol under the square root sign and use the same number to multiply itself to get the result they're asking me for. So if you see a negative number under the square root sign, you would say not possible. You may also see something like this, square root of 11. Well, if you think about your squares, uh, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2, or 3 times 3, sorry, is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. Well, 11 fits in between these two numbers. So I'm trying to find the square root of 11. And I know that 3 times 3 is 9. And I know that 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm going to think about, is the square root of 11 going to be closer to 3? Or is it going to be closer to 4? So for doing questions like this, I would want you guys to say that it's between 3 and 4, but when you start thinking about it, 11 is closer to 9 than it is 16. So I would say the square root of 11 is closer to 3. This is going to be kind of an estimate. You can do it to the nearest tenth, but you would definitely need a calculator. Okay, hopefully these two examples helped you guys. I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.